Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Attack on Titan, the final season, episode number 10. Okay, uh, the previous episode we saw, like it was like a little flashback type of an episode and we got cleared out of a lot of questions. First of all, there was this whole thing uh, about uh, Yelena and Onyankopon, like wh who they are, where they come from. And obviously like uh, they themselves have a little bit of a motive because uh, they have been kind of mistreated by the Marlians and that's why you know a little bit of grudge so and also like Yelena is a devout follower of um, uh, Zeke so that is also like plays a part in it and all of those stuff how Eren kind of transformed you know to the person he is now and uh, like everything and in the end we see like Eren, Eren is ripped man like I have to say like he like <laughs> Like he gave that, you know, um, you know the training. He did the training well, and like he was like standing in front of the mirror in in the. I'm guessing it was the bathroom or something, and, and the way he was like, you know, looking at the mirror and saying like, "Fight, fight!" My God, that was something um, I never expected Aaron to be. <laughs> like his hair was all, you know, wet and everything. Anyways, I'll stop describing him. <laughs> so yeah, that was Aaron's transformation and all of those things happened. So it's kind of like uh, brought in a few more questions, but still, uh, this is Attack on Titan. It will eventually get uh, resolved, but like bring a, a new batch of questions. So I'm just waiting for that because like this, this is one show that, you know, has those tricks up their sleeves, which they gradually show. And when they show them to us, we are like, you know, mind blown and everything. So yeah, I'm waiting for any more like big revelations. Let's see what is left. Uh, so yeah, guys, uh, without further ado, let's get started with uh, Attack on Titan, the final season, episode number 10. All right, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Thank you to whichever is a preference and let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one. Go. Ah, here it is. Damn. Oh, wait, he's behind bars? Wait, he's confined? I did not notice that. Oh my god, Hanji. What? <laughs> yeah, me neither. Exactly. Yes. Oh, why is what? Oh yeah, he's behind bars. Why is he like confined? You would never have sacrifice Historia. What? What sacrifices is she talking about? Wait, when is this happening? Like, I'm a bit confused about the time. Like. I thought this was a flashback, but now I'm not sure. Um, yeah, this is a flashback, isn't it? Because the Aaron now has this, like, you know, a little bit of beard and has this, like, the hair is kind of, I don't know. So, yeah, this is a flashback. So, okay, let's just see, like what like what sacrifice historia how what happened to her and yeah he's behind bars like in the previous episode i didn't even notice that i i don't think they even showed us that he was behind bars i was thinking he was just you know like in the bath bathroom doing something like washing his face or something but it tr turns out he is you know, confined. Oh, 
Oh my god. Yeah, as I was saying, like, you get some questions and then some more questions are piled up. <laughs> like, that's Attack on Titan. Oh my god. Okay, let's see what else we have. A sound argument. 69. Hmm. Oh my god. Again, a flashback. First outside world. Old friendly nation. Hizuru. Oh, this lady. This was uh, f that lady, wasn't it? Uh, like, like where like they've spelt wine on her. Okay, what is that? What? What? What is this? <coughs> Excuse me. Shogun, we had a son. He was a friend. Child of the show. Oh. Oh, was that her mom or something? Lost descendant of her nation. Yeah, I think it was her mom or something or her ancestor. Wait, so she's royalty? Damn. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they are like un like you don't know a lot of things. <laughs> um well <laughs> yeah, <good>. yeah, <laughs> so good. Yeah, she's also kind of royalty, you know. Both are royalties. <laughs> oh. Oh. Damn, this guy has been pulling strings all along. Hmm. Special fuel. I suppose stone. Oh, okay. Maybe it's former glory. Yeah. Oh, what the? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I can see there, you know. Oh, boy. I kind of thought that maybe she's, a, you know.
थ्री पॉइंट टू ओके Yeah. It's the thing with the colossal title. What? Okay, I'm a bit confused. I have to check this portion again. Not descendants. History is going to be the scrape goat, you know. Um. This is the one thing that End didn't want, you know. That's why he never said anything. Okay, Aaron is still his the older Aaron, you know. What made him change? Okay, he still like you know has a rational makes rational decisions. Yeah. Oh, this is now. <clears throat> okay. Oh. What the? Okay, calm down, Aaron. What the hell? Aaron, like. <laughs> uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Too much stress. Historia. Where is what is what? What? Wait, what? What is happening in this episode? I'll have to check each and everything again. What? Who? How? What is happening in this episode? Guy isn't it? Who is the guy? at her yeah <sighs> Oh, so that's what Oh. <laughs> 
Oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> this is Sam's idea? Okay, so... <laughs> Levi, please. <laughs> Wow, great. Everyone wants the, you know, resources. Wait, who is that girl? This, the Wait. Oh, this is the past. Oh my god, the time is messing with me. <coughs> this is the past, okay. Like it's going, you know, the, in the future, in the past, and then then showing in the fu again the future and the past. Okay, so this is like when they go and meet the. Yeah, Sasha is here, so this is the past. Um, I doubt that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the saddle maniac. <laughs> okay. Gone. <laughs> Yeah, John has this, you know, ability to, like, like he can lead well. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Connie's like... A dialect. What? Oh no. Mm -hmm. Egg. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god, Sasha, look at the face. Look at Sasha's face. Yeah. Like, they'll also die, you know? <sighs> uh. 
<laughs> oh my god, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> yep, blame it on the sun. <sighs> and look at Eren now, how he has changed. Oh my god, what, what happened to make him like this? This is the present, isn't it? Yeah, this is the present. <sighs> okay. As I also hope that he is still, you know. No, I think you know that like he he were, he was regretting his decisions. No, that was not something that he No, no. Ugh. Like we saw his flashback, you know? Like that was he was probably laughing at himself the mistakes that he had done. Like, I'm sure he felt the same amount of sadness the others felt. Yeah, that is quite true, but... That's the last, you know, last choice they have. The last oh my god this episode was so many i mean like there was so much information i was barely able to keep up i'll have to take a few portions again like the whole thing with the <clears throat> zeke's plan i was really unable to you know grasp when they said it so quickly I'll have to go and check that portion like slowly <clears throat> again. <clears throat> and like how, like what happened? Like Historia suddenly in that, like, you know, like that. And then Eren and like this episode was doing one thing. It was like going like in the future and then in the past, then in the present, not the future, sorry. In the present, then the past, and then again in the present. And it kind of, you know, messed with uh, a few things I was like it kind of made it difficult to understand so I'll have to like slowly check all of the portions out again <clears throat> but as far as I could understand like um, Zeke had a plan which Eren didn't want to like go through but later on uh, like after like then he did all of the thing like uh, attacking the Marlians getting the Warhammer Titan he got all of that and then, like to prevent Historia from becoming a titan, 
like Historia became pregnant and Eren is like like what? Just a sec. Okay, uh first of all we see the Eren who is you know behind bars. That is the present Eren. Like uh by present Eren I'm talking about him after getting the Warhammer Titan. That was him. Like uh, after I'm I'm sh I'm guessing like after they like came down from that airplane after Zeke got captured uh, by Levi, Aaron was also kind of captured and like put into this cell into this prison uh, <clears throat> where he is like now standing and kind of like saying fight fight and Hanji kind of saw him and came and like talked with him and Hanji said something about like why did you suddenly like uh go along with zeke's plan what is your like intention what do you actually want now okay so that is something in the present then we see two years ago they kind of shows us what happened two years ago so this is again the past and i'm uh, and this is the past i'm guessing which is after the uh third season like after the end of the third season when like Eren and all of them sees the like whole like the sea and everything and uh like uh is this after y Yelena comes yeah this is after Yelena comes and they are like uh like living with them <clears throat> then um I'm guessing uh through Yelena's efforts uh this person uh Kiyomi uh Asuma Bito from the Hizuru, from the Hizuru nation, she comes and she like have has a like a conversation with um <clears throat> Mikasa and all of them. Now Mikasa is special. How is she special? She is the descendant of their shogun, who was like uh like I'm guessing like some of their descendants, as they said, were, were stranded in this island. And like from there, like uh, I'm guessing uh, Mikasa's parent, uh, like I'm guessing Mikasa's mom. Yeah, Mikasa's mom. Mikasa's mom is also from the, <coughs> the one of the descendants of it, and they are like called Orient. And th isn't aren't they called the Orients? So, uh, like uh, in this like uh, world, Orients are Japanese, aren't they? You know, from the Eastern, as they said. So this Hizuru person, they said that the Shogun, obviously Jap Japan has Shoguns. Uh, this shogun's descendant is Mikasa. So Mikasa is a like you know a Japanese uh, of like a person from Eastern origins, and they're called the Orients. And uh, because of that, she's special at least uh, to uh, the Hizuru people. <coughs> and that's the reason why like her mom gave them him her uh, sign or whatever, and uh, which only Aaron knew about. <coughs> Uh, yeah, over a century ago, the shogun we Azuma Bitos descended from had a son. Okay, <coughs> he was on friendly terms with King Fritz and often came to Paris. All right, and then he got stranded in this island. Yeah, defeated and was in disarray. You're the last last descendant of our ruler. Okay, that is clear. All right, now after that, <coughs> what do the Hizurus want? Now here's the thing. Let this. Let us check that. Like that was the portion where I really was unable to like keep up. Okay, so Hizurus were uh, with uh, frequent uh, had frequent conversations with Zeke. So she's saying that today is only possible thanks to the one who brought us together, Zeke Yeager, which is kind of you know uh, like not surprising because obviously Yelena is the one who called them and Yelena is you know connected with Zeke. So obviously Zeke is connected to them. So this is not surprising. Uh, we agreed. Uh, now nah, we meet uh, after meeting with him in secret. We agreed to an ag arrangement. Okay. Uh, under the condition we were able to meet Lady Mikasa. Okay. Uh, so that was the condition they gave them. Uh, just a sec. Mm, then like Zeke shows the uh, like the gear, the Titan gears, whatever the things that they use, survey corps used, uh, and uh, this. Uh, the, now here's the thing. The, the gear that the survey corps used used a special fuel which is only found um, in Paris Island. It's called Iceburst Stone. Now this is one thing that uh, I don't think they like, uh, like this is the first time we are hearing this aren't we? 
like we like obviously we knew like they use some kind of fuel but at least like i thought they used you know normal fuels like or like petroleum or like diesel or whatever that uh, is usually used but that is not the case they use um this ice burst stone which is a special type of a fuel uh it's a unique underground resource mined only in paris and this i'm guessing this is also the reason why the marleans have their eye on uh paris island and here's it uh, zeke uh, said that our nation may just helm an industry uh, just a sec uh, yeah zeke Yeager said if we cooperate with him a notion uh, a nation which just has which may just helm an industry that restores it to its former glory okay um and yet he hasn't even prospected your reserves but a resource like that in this age of modernization may be worth its weight in jewels and treasure Okay, so as far as I can understand, like, uh, like Zeke is like they are saying that, um, like, as they will obviously have uh, connections with the Paris Island people and they are helping them, uh, they will also, you know, share their resources with them. So they will have, uh, you know, monopoly on it. I think that's the thing that they are like <coughs> trying to do. And Mikasa is just being used as a pretext. Yelena said the talks would go well since the Asmobitos are money grabbers. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like uh, obviously, like they did not come here to like meet Mikasa. That is just a pretext they're using. They came here for the money, obviously. Okay, and here's the thing. Uh, Historia asks, what exactly is the arrangement you have with Zeke Yeager? Uh, uh, Zeke, uh, as you know, Zeke Yeager has a secret plan in mind. To achieve it, Hizuru's cooperation is needed. Um, here are the three points to protect Paris with the rumbling. Okay, what is this? The first is a test run of the rumbling. Okay, one thing I'm really not understanding. What is the rumbling? Like, like by rumbling, what are they trying to say? Like, did they mention this before or am I like forgetting something? Anyways, uh, uh, to release a sample of its power and show the world its devastation. Oh, I'm guessing rumbling is the, you know, as I said, the titans will flatten the earth. Are they like mentioning that as a rumbling or something? Maybe. And uh, next is Hizuru's cooperation. Okay. Uh, your military must be strengthened until use of rumbling isn't necessary. <laughs> Understood? then lastly the founding titan and a titan with the royal blood must be passed down all right so they're saying the founding titan must be passed down that is eren eren's power must be passed down the titan with the royal blood must be passed down titan with the royal blood must also be passed down now here's the thing um eren has the founding titan and like like usually what happened the person who had the founding titan had royal blood in him him or her that's why only one titan was like you know passed down one by one but now because eren has the founding titan and uh, like there's no one with the like royal blood uh, obviously eren can't use his power as he like wants it to whenever he comes into contact with someone with the royal blood for example a uh, historia or dinah who she pro like previously like kind of touched uh, in season two <clears throat> he won't be able to use his power so this is you know kind of a problem <clears throat> so now they need uh, obviously a person who has the founding titan and another person who has the royal blood in it must, must also like pass down his or her power to another titan <clears throat> okay which i think is the reason why eren went in the marlian territory and like you know got that uh, warhammer titan now he has like in the present he has both the founding titan power and uh, like uh, the power of a titan with royal blood <coughs> there's a warhammer titan <coughs> okay uh, all right after that uh, uh, she says that zeke will pass on the beast titan to someone of royal blood okay zeke will pass down the beast titan to someone with royal blood zeke will do it Okay, they're not talking about Historia. All right. And then, until the 13 year term ends, they must bear as many kids as possible. Okay. Just a sec.
Okay, Zeke will pass his blood. Beast uh, Titan. Uh, no, Zeke will pass on the Beast Titan to someone of royal blood. Okay, so the person who is going to like uh, inherit that will have royal blood in him or uh, in her and him or her or will get uh, and will also have a titan power. Okay, so that makes a royal titan. Until their 13 year term ends, they must bear as many kids as possible. So they're saying that Eren must pass down his power. Obviously, the, like the time is extremely less. So he needs to pass down his power to someone else. Like Eren will pass down his power to one another person and Zeke will similarly pass down his power to a royal blood like a person having royal blood now those two person will have to have bear as many childs as possible okay until the 13 year terms ends so oh my god yeah like they're making them you know treating them as cattle even if weaponry advances, the rumbling itself is powerful. Yeah, like, so that is the main thing they are focusing on. <clears throat> yeah, unless we get rid of it, inheriting titans will continue for generations to come. So the first people who will have the founding titan power and the, um, like, royal, well, like, the blood will always be used as a scapegoat, you know, uh, for generations to come, unless and until, like, this thing is stopped. And then they shows uh, like you know a flashback of like Historia being consumed, because obviously she has royal blood. Is it right for us to push this problem on our descendants to save ourselves now? <sighs> yeah, and also this is the thing that, <clears throat> but like Historia says that uh, at that time, that as long as the rumbling is tied to a survival, I'll like do it or something. She says something like that, and then Eren says that no. Like uh, we like have come this far not to be like this to be treated as cattle. Now this is the end that we know and that we like you know from season uh, up until season three. The person the Aaron who is empathetic towards others and everything has compassion and all and shows emotions. Now he has still not you know gone that far at least uh, like uh, in this like uh, in the past in that episode in the portion that they were showing us. So, like, like they are kind of saying that Zeke will pass down his uh, like power uh, into uh, one of the <coughs> others. Uh, Historia, being a royal like person having royal blood, she's also at you know a kind of a disadvantage here because she can be used. Like she is exploitable at that moment. So I'm guessing um, Eren went to the uh, like to the Marlian uh, like uh, like kind of acted as a spy and got the Warhammer Titan to prevent this so that his nothing happens to Historia and also Historia after that we see like this is the most shocking thing of this episode of this episode and that is Historia like so she uh, like she got pregnant because like um so that others won't be able to target her and like exploit her that's the reason why oh my god like, like i don't know what to say like now who was the person that like they're saying that we've already confirmed the guy isn't anyone's lackey um <clears throat> they grew up in the same area okay Back then, he apparently threw rocks at her, trying to get her attention. He started helping at her orphanage out of guilt. Okay. He worked with his head down for years, but the one who approached the other one was the queen herself. Okay, this is extremely, I don't know, weird. Like... Like, obviously, I can understand what they were trying to do. Like, if she's pregnant, she obviously people won't be able to, you know, uh, like, exploit her as, uh, like, royal-blooded person. And obviously, because she's the queen, if she dies, it will be a problem. So, that's why they, they're, like, in a stalemate. They won't be able to do anything. Like, they won't be able to use the titan power in case she dies or something. And, like, so this is, like, the, you know, kind of a way to prevent the exploitation of Historia to happen. But in this way, like... Like, the way Historia looked was like, you know, so blank, her eyes was all, 
like had no life in it he was like she was staring blankly at oh my god i don't know like uh, i don't know how to feel about this And then we again get to the past, like they show us a little bit of the past that was happening, like uh, the whole thing with the Hizu, like uh, the, <clears throat> like they, like as they were like waiting for them to come into contact with them. <clears throat> and then like Eren also like talks with them and like says that who's going to inherit his Titan. Now, obviously in this, like at that moment, Eren was still Eren and like <laughs> like we got to so like see like, the emotions that were showing in his face and everything and he was kind of kind of like blushing you know <laughs> and uh <laughs> yeah like and another thing i you know realized after watching this episode like there were so many survey corps member and now eren mikasa armin in this episode like the past sasha Connie and John. Only six. <sighs> I feel so bad, you know, in, in, in season one when we started, there was like a huge, like so many people, like so many characters that like at least I was not even able to, like, you know, memorize the people. There were so many of them. And now there's like six of them. And now like in the presence, five of them. Okay, and and then uh, like they show us this past. And then they talk with each other, like Connie, uh, uh, Mikasa and all of them are like talking uh, with each other in the present. This is again in the present about Aaron and uh, like how he has changed and everything. And uh, like uh, Armin says that I and Mikasa uh, like me and Mikasa will go and talk with Eren and if like it seems as if he is really like going to do whatever like uh, Zeke is planning then we like still have the advantage because we have the serums so like after that like if something like that come, comes uh, like we'll do uh, like we'll take the necessary steps at that moment so like like it's the last you know the last choice they have and then um oh also another thing when they were talking about like Eren laughing at that moment like in the previous episode uh, like uh, not no uh, in the episode before that when sasha died in that episode when Eren was laughing i think that laugh was more of a self you know the self deprecation thing like he was blaming his, himself for something like the things that he was thinking when he was laughing was memories of sasha and i think like he like I don't know like he was laughing at himself as the way he messed up the way uh, like because of him like one of his friends died one of his best friends because he seemed pretty like frustrated when like they said that Sasha was died he was like you know his hands were like tightly fisted and he was kind of like uh, like his teeth were kind of like he did like, like it didn't seem as if he was you know laughing like he was laughing because he like like he thought that it was something that he did like he's the bad guy here i think he was laughing at himself or something i don't know it is just something that i think because like he showed emotion when like uh he heard that sasha is no more so but i think it, it was somehow like misinterpreted by um john and connie i don't know it's just something that i think like I, I really do not think Aaron has like you know fallen so much that he would just laugh at Sasha dying. Like I don't think like he has fallen, but not like at that like uh, amount. Like that's not something that I, I don't believe that. Like I don't know if, if that is like my naivety talking or not, but and so like. In short, the things that happened in this episode was like I'm I'm just giving a summary. If I'm wrong, like please be sure to guide me down. 
first of all uh, they had like they got into contact with this hizuru like this nation uh, from like through yelena they came in and they decided and like told them that they would help them uh, if like uh, if they get like you know this is like, kind of a monopoly they didn't like say this like blatantly but it kind of like was implied something like that so that and um then uh like they also said the whole like zeke's plan of you know uh founding titan and the uh, like royal like, royal blooded titan they'll like make kids and whatever they'll act like as, as a cattle they'll be treated as cattle and that history kind of you know uh gets uh into a compromising position because of this and then like she she's pregnant now because so that she is not going to, like she cannot be exploited that's the reason why she got pregnant and Eren like went to the Marlins to get the Warhammer Titan's power. Then Eren came comes back and then he decides to go along with uh, Zeke's plan. I think maybe he like after like after his, I think he was waiting for this moment for you know how like, his story to be in like a position like now how she is now so that she cannot be exploited and after that he got like ready to uh, go along with Zeke's plan I'm guessing I don't know like the only thing that he wants is that his friends are okay at least I think so so I don't know this is just a guess anyways uh, so that happens and now like after coming back he is like behind bars Hanje is like talking was like talking with him and saying that why did you like suddenly change your mind and say that we'll uh, go along with Zeke's plan and all of these stuff and and has something in his mind which I'm I think maybe uh, Armin and Mikasa will try to like get out from him like uh, like will ask him about it and uh, like what his actual plan is that and like Hizuru later on Hizuru also like uh, like severed the connections because they thought that they won't get the monopoly or whatever something like that and like stuff like this happened so if I'm wrong about something please be sure to correct me down in the comments because uh, as far as I could understand, like this is what happened, and um, also like please no spoilers. Like, uh, like, <laughs> like as I said, like I really want to see like watch this show like you know without getting spoiled or anything, so that I get you know surprised like this. I'm sure a lot of more surprises are going to come. I don't know, <laughs> like how else this show is going to surprise us again. But um, yeah, so yeah, that was this episode, guys. So. I really don't know what to feel about this episode. Like the whole thing with Historia just, you know, is making me really uncomfortable. It's especially like if she was all happy and everything, I would have been fine with it, you know. But the way they showed the, her, like her sitting outside in the balcony, like looking kind of blank. Her eyes was like had no life in it. She was just staring outside. Uh, I, I really, I don't know. Like that kind of, you know, made me really uncomfortable and i am really not like anyways so yeah guys that's that was it that was this episode so if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed uh comment down below anything you want to say uh, anything you want to share about this episode or aot in general uh, or if i'm wrong about something you can correct me down in the comments because obviously this is like a, a cluster like um, like i'm like it's, it's a cluster fuck so yeah and uh and no spoilers please so yeah that's it and uh so yeah thank you guys again i'll be seeing you guys in the next week with, with another episode of attack on titan uh the final season so until then goodbye and have a nice day